I remember when I was 19 and what I would do to make money is I'd go to the mall and I would interact with people and I would make it so they pay me right then and there. And what would happen is, is obviously some people would get resistant to that and out of 30 people I'd go up to, one person, maybe two, would end up being my client. But it was really draining, it was demotivating, and it was hard, you know? Imagine going to the mall every day and you just keep talking to people and hustling and talking to people to potentially not even get one client. So I was brainstorming and I asked myself, I'm like, what is, a be- what is the best way for me to be able to do this? And I remember, you know, whenever I'd go to the mall and I'd ask girls out, I'd get their phone number, I would schedule a date or I'd schedule a phone call with them and I would get a date. I'm like, well, if it works for dating, why wouldn't it work for business? And I went to the mall for four days and I got 15 really qualified people. By really qualified, I mean people who, are, who you could tell are really wealthy, who are committed, who, who, who want to change their lives. And I got them to schedule calls with me. And out of those 15 people, 14 of them answered. And out of those 14, 13 of them said no to me. And I would get on the phone with these 13 and, and my voice would crack. I, I would be nervous. I would stutter. I would hesitate. And the calls would sometimes last 30 to 45 minutes. And it was just so demotivating because 13 calls in a row, almost an hour each call, and I just kept getting rejected. And I had one call left after four days of hard work. I mean, imagine going to the mall, you're excited, you're like, oh my God, I just found this new idea. And everything you expected to work out didn't. So I had one call left and I sat down, I asked myself, I'm like, I'm doing something wrong. I have to change it. And I just made myself a promise. I said, the next person I get on the phone with, the last person, I'm going to help them. And ironically, the last person I got on the phone with was the person who I could tell needed the most help. They were the least confident. They, they, they're the ones who were the happiest that I approached them. And I got on the phone with them, seven and a half, maybe eight minutes go by, and they pull out their credit card and they're about to give me $5,000. And at the time, you know, I was 19, $5,000 was like $5 million to me. I mean, the most amount of money I ever made in one day was $5,000. And it was because I ironically met into a, I ran into a doctor at Starbucks in line and they gave me $5,000 on the spot. But I was not able to replicate that at all. I just got lucky. I literally got lucky at that moment because I guess I needed it so bad that they gave it to me. And I'm on the phone with this person and after eight minutes, think about that, eight minutes, I was able to sell them on $5,000, every penny in my bank account. I didn't have to give it to anybody. It was in my bank account. And you know, at the time, what was I spending money on? Gas, Chipotle, a movie, you know, movie ticket here and there. That was, that was enough money to last me an entire year. And I got excited. I didn't just get excited because of the money. I got excited because I'm like, wow, now I have to help this person. And what I'm doing works. I can help people and make a living. And all of a sudden, every call I took was a close. Out of 10 calls, nine of them would sign up because... I figured out a process that takes less than 10 minutes that would get everybody literally dying to work with me. And all of a sudden I got a waiting list. And before I knew it, I had to change my programs up. I could not work with people one-on-one anymore because I didn't have enough time. And the sales process works, I mean, I've taught it to hundreds of salespeople. I've taught it to my sales team. I've taught it to other sales teams. You know, I had a client I taught it to in 10 minutes, literally 10 minutes, taught it to him. And all of a sudden he closed 27 for 27 calls. Uh, he lives in Mexico and he made 7 million pesos, 7 million pesos, like almost 400,000 US dollars in about two days. So, you know, to me, I realize that this process not only has made me thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars, but it is so easy, so simple, so time saving. You know, everyone here is teaching you about sales, but that's what they realize is they, they, people forget sales isn't about selling, you know. It's about helping. It's about giving. The more you give, the more you get. And that's the biggest thing you have to remember is the more you give, the more you get. And I've outlined this exact sales process. It's not a script. It's a process that I use and it works every time. And, you know, I'm not selling you. If you're interested, you can click the link below. If you want to check it out, you can check it out. But this process is what made me hundreds of thousands of dollars. And the reason I share this with you is because if I had given up after the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth call, 
13th call. I would have not only never had that epiphany on the 14th call, but I would have never used this model, which has allowed me to grow and, and have the success I have. I think that day was such a turning point for me because I, it just clicked for me. It was a light bulb went, it went off in my mind and, and all of a sudden it became easy. I was confident in the fact that I could sell anyone any price, no matter what, over the phone in under 10 minutes. So again, if you're someone who wants to learn this, you're in sales, you want to learn how to sell people, just click the link below. You don't have to do it. I'm not selling you, but if you want help, you want to use the same things that I use, click on that link. And remember, no matter what you're doing in your life, don't give up because it could be the next failure, the next rejection that that moment where everything clicks for you and all of a sudden you know exactly what needs to happen and then you have nothing but success. Remember, failure and rejection are progress along your path. You know, if you start here and your goal is to end up here, every failure, every rejection, every time it doesn't work out, that is progress because those are your biggest teachers and they were my biggest teachers. So don't give up, keep going, don't fear failure, don't feel rejection, don't fear rejection, just embrace it, accept it, learn from it, and move forward. That's how you make progress, that's how you grow, and that's how you're gonna get to your end goal.